Hey everyone, Kevin here. Today, we're going to take a first look at Copilot in Microsoft Loop. Copilot is an advanced AI developed by Microsoft. It's kind of like having a really smart helper. Okay, maybe not that helper, but a better version of it. It can write text, it can make tables, it can code. You could even have it answer open-ended questions, like, are there any follow-ups for me? Those are just a few examples of how Copilot helps you become more productive. In fact, this whole video that you're watching was generated by AI. Just kidding, I'm actually a real human, despite what so many people seem to think down in the comments. Let's check out how you can use this. Head to the following website to use Microsoft Loop. If you've never heard of Microsoft Loop and you just want to know when would you use it, check out the video in the top right-hand corner and that'll give you a really good foundation. Anyone can use Microsoft Loop. All you need is a free Microsoft account. However, to use Copilot, you need a work or school Microsoft account. And you also need a license for Copilot. And currently those run for $30 per month. So if you would like that, talk to your IT admin to see if you can gain access. Today, not that many people have it, but over time it should become more and more available. Here I am in a new page in Microsoft Loop, and I'm on point to plan the 2023 potluck for the Kevin Cookie Company. I think it makes sense to start by writing out the invitation, and I could just start typing in some text here, but let's see if AI can maybe help me with this. Now right here, I get this overlay that tells me to insert. Alternatively, I could also press the forward slash on my keyboard. And this opens up a menu with all different types of blocks that I could insert into my page. Up at the very top, there are two new items for Copilot. Right here, I can have AI help draft page content, or I could also have it summarize the page. I want to write an invitation, so I'll select draft page content. Down below, it's now inserted a field where I can ask the AI for assistance. I can also click on any one of these buttons to help me get started, but I know exactly what I want. I'm planning a potluck for the Kevin Cookie Company. I'm expecting about 20 people to attend, including our senior leadership team. Can you help write an invitation? Over here, let's see if the AI can help. Wow, and look at that. I now have a beautifully written invitation for the Kevin Cookie Company potluck. Now, of course, this serves as a really good starting spot. I still need to go in and I need to insert the date, the time, the location, and I also need to fill in my name. But overall, this is a really good start. One of the great things is I could also go back and continue to refine this message with the AI. Looking at this message, I think it could be a little bit more fun. I mean, we are, after all, a cookie company. Right up here, I have this overlay, but if I don't have that overlay, I could also click on this icon and that brings it up. Over here, let's see if maybe we could add some cookie jokes into the message to sweeten people's day. Let's see what it comes up with. And look at that, it's now gone back and it's refined my message to include some jokes. Look at that, it's included two different jokes in my invitation. On second thought, I think I actually preferred when it was a little bit more concise. This might not be that professional. Over here, I'll click on the Copilot icon. And here, I can see all of my interactions with the AI. Now, I can click on this one and I can see what the original invitation message looked like. I think I like this a little better. It was a little more pithy and also concise. Up above, here, I can click on this undo button and this returns me to that original invitation. I think this looks really good and I'll run with this. Along with sending out the invitation, I also need to keep track of who is bringing what. I'll go down to the very bottom and let's see if AI can help me with this too. Over here, I'll press the forward slash, and again, that opens up all the different blocks that I can insert. And let's try drafting page content again. Here I get that prompt again, and let's see if maybe it can pull together a table that I can use to track who is bringing what. Let's see if the AI can help. And help it did. Here I have a table showing me items and also person bringing it. Of course, I could have created the table on my own, but it's easier just asking for what I need and having AI do it. Now, looking at this table, I actually think it would also be helpful to include a category column, like say main dish or appetizer. So let's see if AI can maybe go back and refine this table. And just like that, it's now added a new column for the category. It really couldn't be any easier. Of course, I now want people to come in and fill out this table. The only problem is people prefer using different tools. Some people in our company like using email, other people like Teams. To make this easy, over on the left-hand side, I'll right-click 
And here I have the option to create a loop component. I'll click on that. This has now transformed the table into a loop component. So what good is that? Well, let's see. Right up here in the top right hand corner, I have this option to copy the component. I'll click on that. And here it is now successfully copied this component. Let me now jump into my email. I'm now in my email and here I have the invitation to the company potluck. Right down below, I'll press control V on my keyboard and here that pastes that component into my email. So here I see the table in my email. So what good is that? Well, let's bring up loop side by side with this email. Here I now have my loop page opened up side by side with my email. And this is the magic of loop. Over here, of course, I'm going to bring in chocolate chip cookies. So I'll type that in and you'll notice when I type that into the page, it also automatically updates the email to reflect the item that I'm bringing in. This way anyone can go in and they can update the table in their email, in Teams, in Word, in Whiteboard, wherever they happen to work, that update will flow back to this original page. That way we all stay in sync. I'm now back in loop. And now that the invitation is out of the way, I figured I should probably look back at the 2022 potluck feedback. I mean, we don't wanna make any of the same mistakes again. Here I have all of the feedback, but let's see if AI can maybe just summarize it really quickly for me. Here I'll enter in a forward slash, and here I again have those two co-pilot options. And here I have the option to summarize the page. Let's click on that. Down below, it's now produced a summary of this entire page. Here, it grouped together all the items that people enjoyed. Here, it also told me the items that people didn't like so much, and also feedback to invite more people next year. Over on the right-hand side, I'll click on the Copilot icon, and I can also ask other questions about this feedback. For example, Nestor's been asking me if people had any feedback on his chicken sandwiches, so let me ask the AI. And down below, it's now picked out all the feedback for Nestor, and it looks like his chicken salad sandwiches were somewhat disappointing and it looks like he has no culinary talents. I mean, I guess it's a good thing he works on the accounting team. All this feedback has been so helpful and I want to make sure that we continue collecting feedback like this. My manager recommended maybe including a feedback form on our website. Let's see if maybe AI can help me code something like this. I'll enter in the forward slash and right up on top, let's click on draft page content. And let's ask to code maybe an HTML and PHP form that people can use to provide feedback on the potluck. Let's see what it comes back with. And it looks like it's now generated some HTML code. Down below, I can see the HTML form. I could place this directly on the website. Looking at the code, it looks like it calls potluck.php. If I scroll down just a little bit more, here I can see all of the PHP code that will take care of sending this email. Of course, I'll need to go in and make a few tweaks. For example, I'll need to enter in my email address. But again, this gives me such a good starting point. All right, well, that was a quick look at how you can use Copilot in Microsoft Loop. It really makes work so much easier. And although we looked at Copilot in Loop, you can also use it in a wide variety of other Microsoft products. For example, in Windows and Edge and Word, Excel and PowerPoint. And Copilot has special functionality depending on the app that you're in. For example, in PowerPoint, you can use Copilot to pull together slides. To watch more videos like this one, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next video.